Hi, welcome to Baseball Weekly. I'm Tyler. And I'm Taylor. Uh, we're here at uh, El Kruger Field, or Tuffy Stadium in El Kruger Field. Yeah. I uh, just finished an awesome uh, nine-inning game. Uh, it's yeah. it's uh, playoff baseball time for high school, but we got uh, we got one in. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's kind of an exhibition. You can't see uh, the scoreboard right now, but it's a real close game. I think five four is what it ended up to be. Yeah. One combined error. Um, That's a pretty good ball. Yeah, it was some good balls, some good hits, and uh, it was a fun night. Had pretty good showing. And uh, so, yeah, it's a lot to be happy about here right now. Yeah, our sections are ending uh, this week. Yep. Uh, Holly just upset Perm uh, in, I guess, uh, the last game of the tournament. Uh, yeah. 10-3 or 10-4. Uh, yep. For you, those of you that don't know, the night before ended in an extra inning game. That was a really good game, back yeah. and forth. Uh, a couple bombs here and there. Uh, just some really good baseball, but Holly surprised a lot of people. Yep. I know Perm was sitting pretty good, and... Uh, they played pretty good ball. Yeah, sure did. You know, that's the thing with baseball. Perm was looking good there in the driver's seat. Um, only team in the tournament I thought a loss, and uh, things just kind of turned around. Close games and a couple of errors, and before you knew it, they, they dropped two, and that's that's yeah. how baseball goes. You know, I talked to Aaron Anderson uh, before that Holly Perm game, and he said just about every win Holly had in the tournament was at the end of the game by a couple runs. So uh, sometimes that stuff's just contagious, yeah. and uh, when teams get hot at the right time, you know, yeah. anything can happen. Actually, Absolutely. you kind of saw that with last year when Perm went down uh, as a, I think, a 17 maybe yep and uh well they went to the target field they yeah. run two in a row upset and, uh, uh, the first yeah. team i think it's yep. delano one of the best teams in the state eric brock threw a great game had a couple of hits and the rest yeah. of the team rallied around him and they upset some guys so yep. well, anyway we uh we played nimrod today yep. and i know beginning of the year we talked about some uh local guys playing uh college ball yep and we saw a bunch of them today mm -hmm. uh paul funk who's not going to be here but yep. he uh he played short for him he started at third for ndsu uh this year mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, their, their lineup was really lefty heavy actually, which is pretty new for us too. Yeah. But um, and we got a couple more guys. The first guy we're gonna bring out here is uh, Gunner Johnson. Yeah. So Gunner can come out here and. Uh, Gunner, how you doing? We talked we talked about Gunner uh, nice and early in the year because yeah, uh, played at Butler for well you finished junior and senior year at Butler, right? I did. I okay. went there for two years. And. Uh, yes. Last year was your more of a closer role, a reliever role, and this yeah. year you said you kind of uh, got to do a little bit of both? Yep. Last year was definitely all relieving because I was a new kid coming from JC. I'd earned my spot. Eventually I got two starts at the end. But then this year for my senior year, worked my way back up again, but then got Friday starter role, so it was pretty awesome. Great yeah. feeling. <laughs> uh, so you started at junior college. We've talked a lot about uh, on the show when you're uh, coming from a small town playing this this level of ball, you don't get a lot of looks no matter oh, what yeah. you do. Mm -hmm. So we talked about how that junior college is uh, its a really good idea if you want to play at the next level. Where did you go? What junior college did you go? I went uh, to Iowa Lakes Community College. Okay, sure. Right on the border of Minnesota and Iowa, basically Minnesota. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so coming out of there, did you have a lot of looks then for, uh, for that next level? Actually... Not very many still, like, I mean, a lot around from Minnesota because they all saw me pitch and sure, wanted to yeah. be there, but what I was looking for was something more, and then all of a sudden Butler came at the end of the year and just surprised me, and I was pretty happy with that. Yeah, yeah. and for those who don't know, Butler is D1. Uh, what kind of teams did you see in your in your games and any tournaments? What were the other colleges? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. This year was, uh, <laughs> it was quite the different people that we always got to see. We saw uh, Louisville, actually, and they're still in the Super Regionals this year. Uh, their pitcher was pumping like 95. <laughs> yeah. I was a pitcher, so I'm glad I didn't have to see There that. you go. But we saw them. We saw Xavier, which they made the tournament. We played Mercer at the time. They were ranked like fifth in the nation. Jeez. And then Creighton, they're in our actual Big East Conference, and they, uh, I think they were top five in the nation for defense. Okay. So. So a lot of good, good yeah. competition oh, yeah. there. I did a little dig, and I saw you went eight innings. Who was that against? You went oh, eight innings. That was really a good, good game. Yep, that was against Xavier. And oh, there you go. <laughs> surprisingly, they came here, and they were supposed to be taking, like, all the wins. Like, they're supposed to be top dogs. So huh. I just decided cool. to shove it. Eight innings, no earned runs, something like that. Yep. Eight innings, no earned runs. Uh, I scattered seven hits in four innings, the first four innings, and then after that, I didn't get okay. a hit. All right, so well, Butler's now, you're done with college, right? Yep. I um, am. Anything else now in plans in the near future? Accolades wise, you were named uh, to a pretty cool team, in my opinion. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I got second team All Big East uh, for my pitching. <laughs> so I got two I shutouts, know, and then they actually gave me second team All Big East. Yeah. And, but that, that's pretty cool. I mean, absolutely. Yeah. It's quite the shock. Love it. It's quite yeah. exciting. <laughs> well, like Kay was saying, now yeah, what's Yeah, future next plans. Anything, uh, uh, anything you're looking at? Well, actually, I'm leaving tomorrow, which is Saturday. 
I'm going down to Kentucky, going to stay in Indianapolis for a night, and then Monday I have tryouts for independent and slash minor league ball. There's a lot of coaches that okay. I got invited to. And Gonna give it my all and see what comes from it. Nice. Good. Mm -hmm. Drew a little bit today. Yeah. What did you throw? Three innings. Three innings. Struck yeah. out everyone but a couple guys. <laughs> yeah, seven of the nine first batters. <laughs> and uh, for those of you, that, I don't know if we got it on tape, but you yeah. did put one over the fence I by did. A, uh, a couple yards. Yeah, but that one. That one felt pretty good. He left it up. It uh, turned on it. Yeah. If you seen our scoreboard, <laughs> went over the scoreboard. No doubt about it. Tay was, was playing fun. right field. Yeah, yeah. yeah I got a pretty good look. Blocking, so <laughs> yeah. Must be over. Yeah. 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 And then uh, just to catch up. I guess you went to Staples High School, right? You yeah, guys had a really good team. So yeah. um, we actually got rated. I think it was top three at one point, and then we lost the game right after that. So. Okay. You and Jordan Reaver, right? I believe yep. over who plays for Bertha yeah. now. So, so mid, mid State, I believe. So you played Perm and Park Rapids and all those good teams. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, that's well, pretty absolutely. cool. Uh, yeah. Great story from Gunnar Johnson. Good luck to you. Yeah. Best luck to you, level, man. Thank yeah. you. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Next guy we're going to kind of bring up here. Uh, I know him a little bit. I got drafted last year to stay with him uh, in Bertha. He uh, did a little juco at uh, Fergus Falls and then ended his career in Mayville. Uh, Alex Brockpiller. Brockpiller? Brockpiller. <laughs> One of those. How are you doing, Brock Alex? Brockpiller? Yeah. Brockpiller. Brockpiller. Brock there Now we is. got it. There you go. Probably good to clear the air that way. All right, so another guy that went to juco. After that juco, well, what would you do at, at Fergus? Did they have you playing positions or pitching? Uh, yeah, or? I pitched in Fergus uh, under Jared Asmus and then also played right field. Okay, okay. that's another thing. Uh, you just love playing baseball. Juco, if you got a good enough bat, you're going to be able to do do uh, both, and you don't get that opportunity at a lot of colleges, so yeah. it's a pretty cool, pretty cool deal. Experience. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what kind of offers did you get after Fergus Falls? Um, I was between uh, going to a few schools like Southwest State down uh, in southern Minnesota, Jamestown, and uh, ended up... Uh, Decided to go to Mayville, and it was a great fit for me. Yeah. Had a lot of fun. And... Okay, you uh, you pitch for them? Yep, pitch right. for them. Yeah, uh, Mayville was my – I was uh, at Jamestown, so Mayville was our, uh, our real rival there. But you also played a little ball with Gavin Beagler, who uh, – he plays here for the Pirates too, and I think you guys ended you guys both careers in Mayville together, yep. right? And well, I he ended last uh, last year. I ended this year. Okay. Okay. And uh, Mayville, did you see some time in relief? Uh, um, the and, first year, I got a few innings. Uh, my sophomore or junior year, it actually would have been got a few innings here and there. Um, more of a like mid reliever, mid game reliever, long reliever. And then uh, second year, um, they really liked what I uh, was bringing to the table in the fall, and. Uh, was named a day one starter and stayed there for the rest of the season. Nice. Yeah, real awesome. And uh, for those who don't know, Mayville and Jamestown, that area of ball, uh, NAI ball over in North Dakota, some pretty good ball. Um, they play a lot of competitive schedules sometimes. Uh, Mayville and Jamestown is usually the two teams that kind of push on to the regionals and things like that. I think they both made it this year again, and uh, but they ended up losing before the World Series. So. I'm glad you brought that up because that's pretty good ball. You, you'd think it's a lot of North Dakota, Minnesota kids, but, I mean, yeah. they find a way to get players from all over the uh, United States. And I know, uh, Tay, when you went to Jamestown, there was uh, that shortstop that was a pretty darn good player. Uh, they also they had that pitcher that got drafted. Yep. Uh, yeah, we had Nationals. a couple guys get drafted uh, into the Washington Nationals organization, and uh, I think they're still playing a little independent ball um, right now, but it just shows the level of uh, competition that is around the area um, in all these kind of colleges around. So uh, just a question, I guess, for you guys. How many games do you guys got scheduled? Uh, I know Nimrod, great baseball town, uh, great baseball fans. You guys playing a pretty full schedule I, this I year? I think we got about at least two every weekend, a couple Wednesday games. I think we play you guys on a yep. Wednesday okay. in Monaga, I believe, in a mm -hmm. few weeks here. So All right. Looking forward to another good game with you guys there. And yeah. Well, thanks for coming, yeah. Alex. No awesome. For having me. Great yes. game today. Good luck the rest of the year. Yeah, yeah thanks. You too. Well, uh, next uh, for the Pirates, we got uh, three games coming up. Uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, Friday and Saturday are both away. And Sunday, I believe, is at home. And that will be, uh, not quite sure, somewhere around 1230, maybe even a 3 o'clock okay, start. Okay, a little afternoon, afternoon um, game. Okay. But a lot of baseball coming around. I know the away games are not too far away for those who love watching us. Uh, yeah. It's not that far down the road. It's usually just on Highway 10. So. You know, and one thing we haven't even talked about, we play at this great place right here, but you go down the road to Nimrod, they got an awesome field. Mm -hmm. uh, Dent's got an awesome field. No matter what size of town, uh, there's always a baseball field. And they, yes. Usually they keep it up very good. There's always yeah. great, great uh, baseball Minnesota field. Amateur Baseball Parks are, are something to see. If you go to Target Field, they actually have – and in the left field corner, their own room, it's a little bar, and they have all the pictures of all the amateur baseball fields from around the state up there because there's so many, and a lot of them keep up on those fields as well as they yeah. can. So, yeah. Well, thanks for uh, watching the show, and I guess we'll see you next week. Yeah. yeah.
Thank you.